and welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith and today we are going to talk about the items you need for home repairs. I'm sure many of us remember Tim Allen as Tim the Toolman Taylor and a show that ran during the 90s called Home Improvement. He was notorious for trying to do something bigger and splashier than the job needed, whether it was a new tool he invented or just too much tool for the job. Reminiscing about this show made me realize that sometimes we need to let loose and still have a little fun with prepping. Many of the things I'm going to show you today involve keeping items you may find in a bathroom in working condition. We should have plenty of plumber's tape for shower heads, pipe sealing, and thread seals. This is a no-brainer because if you aren't well versed in plumbing repairs, this stuff will become your new best friend. We should also have some drain snakes for our sinks and tubs and the larger version for toilets. If something were to get clogged, we need an easy way of dealing with it in SHTF. Backed up plumbing in SHTF would definitely emphasize the S in SHTF. <laughs> a spare toilet repair kit is also a good item to have. Another item you want to have on hand is some cartridges for your sinks. These aren't that difficult to change out, but when your leak becomes a steady drip, it's worth taking care of on your own without the added cost of a plumber. Now in a full blown SHTF, you might not care, but with the SHTF we're currently dealing with, which is inflation, this is a cheaper solution and will help ease your water bill. Caulking is another item we should have stocked to help seal any seams where our counters and surfaces meet the walls. While this just isn't just used for bathrooms, it does come in handy to ensure water isn't flowing behind the walls. <laughs> now while none of us can have a bathroom like Tim the Toolman Taylor, we can at least keep them in repair with the items I have mentioned. Here is a clip of his famous, The Man's Bathroom. It's plush when you flush. <laughs> And jukebox, phone, and a rack for your hot rod magazines within easy reach. If there were a refrigerator in here, you'd never have to leave. Did you say if? There are a few other items I wanted to mention that we should have prepped for home repairs in an SHTF. Another would be sprinkler insulation. We need to get familiar with winterizing your sprinklers yourself now so that you aren't faced with a busted pipe during an SHTF situation. It's also a great way to start saving money now. There are plenty of how-tos online. We stockpile extra spare sprinkler insulation and attach it with the zip ties I mentioned in my previous video, Top 10 MacGyver Preps. <laughs> <laughs> have a toolkit for your home. This will come in handy for making many basic repairs in which screws and nails are needed. I also have some extra screws here and nails. We actually just purchased one of those for my mother-in-law recently because she didn't have one. So this is a good gift to hand out for your unprepared family members. Something else to stock up on would be your light bulbs. Every size and shape that you currently use, whether it's the larger globe lights, in your bathroom or your basic 60 watts for lamps. You're going to need plenty of these in your preps. Yeah. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. In addition to regular batteries, make sure you have some nine volts on hand to replace the ones in your smoke detectors. We need these in working order, especially if the power is out. Lastly, I wanted to mention filters. Everything from filters for your furnace to home air purifiers to spare filters for your vacuum cleaner, you need these to keep your home running efficiently. May we all remember to tackle a home repair with as much enthusiasm as Tim the Toolman Taylor, but with a little less brute force. Uh oh. <laughs> no, ah, 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 ah. Uh -huh. If you have enjoyed this video today, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.